Today we're talking about good lock for your Galaxy phone, which is like the Swiss army knife of customization. But instead of a useless pair of scissors, you get modules that will literally transform your entire phone. And to kick things off, I'm going to show you how you can turn your phone from looking like this into something like this, or even this, or this, and even this. And to do this, we're going to use the Home Up module because in here, when you select Home Screen, there's a toggle here for DIY Home Screen, which turns your entire phone into a digital playground. Now what you'll be able to do is long press on your home screen, tap on DIY in this top corner, and now you have absolute free reign over your entire home screen to do whatever with it that you want. There's no more grid, there's no limit to how much things you can put on your home screen, and you can literally move all the elements around wherever you want. Even stack them on top of each other, you can add as many widgets as you want and don't worry if you get a little bit carried away and things get a little bit chaotic you can reset everything by tapping diy home screen and down at the bottom just tap reset and it will set everything back to normal so you can start fresh now one of the questions i get asked the most on my channel is how i'm able to fit all of these icons down here on my favorites bar and by default you can only fit five icons on here but using good luck i'm gonna show you how you can get up to nine we're gonna go back to those home screen settings in the home up module and right here you'll see an option that says favorites max count so just tap into here and you can see you can set it to anywhere between five icons all the way up to nine so go ahead and set this up tap apply and that's it you're all set now you can go ahead and drag up to nine icons down here to your favorites bar now did you know that the back of your samsung galaxy phone is also a button and you can double tap or triple tap it to take a specific action here's how back in the good Lock application tap on the registrar module select back tap action enable this feature and now you have an option here for double tap and triple tap and you can set this to anything that you want but i like to set my double tap to take a screenshot and for triple tap i like to open up a specific application so under open app you can hit on the cog wheel and you'll be presented a list of all of the applications that you have installed on on your phone so go ahead select whichever app you want to open with that triple tap and that's it you're all set now anytime you double tap the back of your phone it'll take a screenshot and when you triple tap it will open up your app pretty cool now it's no secret that phones these days have gotten really big and it's kind of hard to use them one-handed and if this is what you're doing to use your phone one-handed stop doing that i've got a better solution head back to good lock and this time look for the one hand operation plus module and i'm going to tell you guys right away this is probably my favorite good lock module because it actually changes the way you use your phone for the better because in here you'll see we have a left handle and a right handle and if you tap into here you can set six swipe actions to either handle for a total of 12 actions that you can take just by swiping from the side of your phone which is absolutely insane and in here it's broken down by short swipe and long swipes so just go through both of these handles and set all these actions to the things that you use most often and to show you an example of how this works the way i use it is if i swipe down diagonally it will take a screenshot if i long swipe diagonally down it will take a screen recording if i swipe diagonally up it will open up the play store if i swipe diagonally up and hold it will open up the galaxy store if i swipe from the side it will open up my samsung health now from the other side if i swipe down it will open up my calendar if i swipe up it will open up my notes so as you can see this is insanely powerful and there are so many actions that you can map to these swipe gestures and if you set this up correctly with all of your favorite actions and applications you will pretty much never need to leave the home screen again now on the lock screen of my galaxy phone you might notice that it looks a little bit different than yours because i have these two up arrows right here that when i swipe up on it it will show me my entire notification history directly from my lock screen now to set this up look for the noti star module in your good lock application and enable it and that's pretty much all you have to do the only other thing i would suggest you change is go down here to where it says notification storage period and select for how long you want those notifications to be saved i have mine set to seven days but you can go ahead and set it to whatever you want even as long as a year now for this next good lock module we are going to transform the way your lock screen looks and to do this we're going to use the lock star module and when you enable this you will now be able to add a whole lot more widgets on your lock screen than what is allowed by default because when you tap on lock star down here and then select app widgets you're going to see a whole long list of all of these different widgets that you can add to your lock screen and the coolest part about this is it will work with third-party apps so if you have something like the tesla app you can add it directly to your lock screen and see how much your car has charged right from your lock screen and just like the diy home screen module there's pretty much no limitations to what you can do in here you can add as many widgets as you want you can stack them add stickers add text and just have full control over your lock screen all right here's a cool one every time you get a notification on your phone you can have a cool animation of the icon of the application that the notification came from so if somebody sends you a message from whatsapp you can have it look like this if you get a message from telegram it'll look like this and the same will work for any other application in your phone here's how you set it up 
back in your good lock application look for the edge lighting plus module enable this feature and right here where it says show app icon instead of custom style image go ahead and enable this and now anytime you get a notification you will see that animation of the app icon where the notification came from and if you want you can even change the custom style for your notifications and you can see there's all of these different options in here that look really cool and once you select one that you like you can customize it even further by changing the color or going to the advanced tab and changing the effect animation so take some time to play around with this because you can definitely get really creative and once you're done you're gonna get a really cool animation every time you get a notification on your phone all right now check this out every time i lock or unlock my phone i get this really cool animation that transitions between my always on display and my lock screen if you want to spice up your lock screen as well back in the good lock application look for the wonderland module and then select create your different lock screen effect tap on the plus icon select image settings then in the lock screen window tap on your gallery and go through your gallery and select which wallpaper that you want on your lock screen once you've done that, select effect type, and now you'll have a list of all of these cool animations that you can add to your lock screen. And if you want, you can also select effect settings to play with the actual animation itself. But once you're ready, simply save this animation and set it as your lock screen, and that's it, you're all set. Now, anytime you lock and unlock your phone, you're gonna see that cool animation, which definitely gives your phone a unique look. All right, now check this out. Every time I unlock my phone with my main finger, it simply just unlocks my phone and goes to my home screen. But when I unlock it with my left thumb, it will unlock my phone and directly go into Netflix. And that's definitely useful for someone like me who has kids, but you can of course map this to whatever application that you want. And here's how you do it. Now, first you're going to have to add a second fingerprint profile if you don't already have one. And to do that, go into your phone settings, swipe down to security and privacy, select screen lock and biometrics, select fingerprints and tap on the plus icon on here to register a new finger now once you've done that go back into the good lock application look for the routines plus module and in here select fingerprint to website now first in the if section select the fingerprint profile that you want to use for this action and then in the then section you can put a specific url of a website that you want to open but if instead you want to open up an app like me tap on the edit button remove the go to website section tap on the plus icon and swipe down until you see apps then select open an app or do an app action and go through this list of all of the applications that you have installed on your phone so let's go ahead and use netflix as an example we're gonna select it tap done and now just save this routine and that's it you're all set up now anytime you unlock your phone with that fingerprint profile it will open up netflix but there you go guys that's gonna do it for some of my favorite good luck modules for the samsung galaxy phone if you enjoyed this video be sure to watch this one as well or this one right here but that's gonna do it for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace